Wow, Capricorns, Capricorns, Capricorns. This is the business uh, reading. Wow, Capricorns, wow. I All I have to say is wow, wow, wow. All right, Capricorns, so let's get in this and let's move on and let's see what is transpiring. So Capricorns, um, this business reading for this period, whenever you pick it up is the time you should have it. You are going to be having a new start. You're really, really going to be having a new start. You are linked with Uranus. And what is Uranus? It's about principle um, um, of doing business. Um, you know, if you listen and you look at my videos, I said the new way of doing business. And this is um, it's as if you Capricorns are bringing back the new way of doing business. All right. You are recognizing that uh, there was so many things that was off, a whole lot of things that was off uh, and how business was uh, being represented. And you are going to be bringing back that balance because you're ruled by Saturn and you're also ruled by the 10th house. And the energy of the 10th house is about uh, um, um, uh, your recognition um ten tells is about uh, who you are and uh, you know making sure and healing making sure and healing your reputation okay so uh, you know Cap capricorn this is going to be a powerful period it's going to be a powerful period because what is happening and transpiring is that you use the the energy of saturn to bring back uh, so you have this Uranus energy that you're going to be dealing with. And it is really, you're coming in the time of Aquarians. And you have this Uranus energy. Um, Uranus is uh, the leader of the Aquarians. And you're coming back in the Aquarians time. And what is transpiring Capricorn is that you are bringing back uh, healing and a stability in a business, a corporation. You're recognizing uh, that uh, there was, um, you know, things and the discipline in corporation institution was out and you are the one that is using the energy of Uranus um, in order to create a new stability moving forward. And this is just so powerful because it's as if you're bringing back uh, the disorder um, in corporation, institution, and this is going to be good. So you're flying off with Uranus energy and Aquarians, uh, uh, Capricorns that has uh, Uranium, um, Aquarian energy is going to be having, um, some sort of a new start moving forward. Okay. So if you're a Capricorn that is on the cups of the Aquarians and the cups people, because it's from the, um, the 18, 17, 6, um, 18, 17, um, 16, 15, uh, 14. Um, it's going to be um, getting some sort of a new start, okay? Because you're bringing back some sort of a um, balance to some sort of an institution. Now, the energy of the Ten of Cups in the first week, that, the Ten of Wands, my excuses, Ten of Cups, <laughs> it would be good too. But the energy of the Ten of Wands in the first week is Saturn in Sagittarius. Saturn in Sagittarius. So this was what I was just saying, ladies and gentlemen is that you Capricorns are ruled by Saturn. But this um, this period that you're in, you're using Uranus energy coming in in order to bring back some sort of a chaos from some sort of issues that has been going on. You're bringing back balance to chaos. And in the first week, when you have the energy of Saturn in Sagittarius, what this is happening, what is, what is to inspire you, um, for you guys with Saturn in Sagittarius is that uh, you are, you know, working on a difficult situation and you're looking for strength and flexibility, okay, in order to adapt uh, to some sort of a situation that was created. So there was a lot because this is obstacles. Saturn in Sagittarius is always about obstacles. Obstacles in the first week that people are going to be created, but you will find, um, strength and, and 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 to deal with this um situation in order to create some sort of a flexibility and adaptability of you moving forward so it could be a new job 
it could be a new job you start in the, four, the first week, a new job, a new work, a new promotion, a new career. And, you know, people are trying to, you know, you don't know these people and people are trying to work against you. And, you know, you're asking for documents, you're asking for a situation, but people are kind of trying to work against you. But not to worry about this because whatever obstacles they're bringing to you, you're still going to be victorious and successful, okay? So we see this energy in the first week, uh, some sort of obstacles. It could be a lot of work and you'll have a lot of work um, because Saturn in Sagittarius is about you having a lot of burdens to carry. So you have a lot of work in the first week, but yet still you're going to be okay because if you notice... um at the bottom, at the end, you are going to be victorious and successful. And this is going to be good. So this is like positive, positive alignment of energy. As we look at the second week, which is just so powerful, Capricorns, the second week is good. The center and the second week of uh, this four weeks period, you have the energy of the Ten of Pentacles. You have the Ten of Pentacles. Go and look at the general Reading just for your personal life on the other channel. Um, I have a personal channel. Uh, go back and look at the person. You have the Ten of Pentacles. So whatever is happening in the month of uh, February, it is letting you Capricorn know that you will be financial stable. Okay. And this is going to be coming in the second week when people are going to, you know, you Capricorns who were worried about your money. Um, your financial status, you're going to be recognized. Hey, it is Mercury in Virgo. So if you are a, a speaker or you write any book or anything that you have to do is going to be bringing you a whole lot of wealth and security at all levels. Okay. So let's say that you're a coach. Um, you are a salesperson. Anything that you have to do communicating. Okay, um, this is going to be good because this is Mercury in Virgo. Mercury in Virgo. So Mercury is always about communication. So anything with communication, expect that you're going to be creating wealth and security at a higher level for you. So February is a very, very lucky month for you Capricorns whenever it comes up. Uh, um, so uh, your communication skill is going to be bringing you a lot of money. So that is good. Looking at the third week, the third week is the energy of balance, okay? And um, this third week has to do with the Sagittarian, okay? This third week is linked with a Sagittarian. For some time, it linked with a Virgo. So in the third week, uh, um, this is like uh, divine intervention in a situation. So you could be having some sort of a problem, some sort of a situation in the third week. Uh, whatever is going on, just call for divine intervention, okay? Um, call upon uh, um, temperance to come in, divine intervention, because you're going to be balancing out something in the third week. So here we are linking up with Sagittarian, and this is about integrating, Okay and integrating some sort of a creative process. So whatever is happening and transpiring in the third week, you could be having people um, offering you um, deals, business, uh, to work with them and integrate with them, okay? It is it is very going to be, it's, it's going to be very important, okay? Because what this is going to be doing for you is that by working and balancing out with other people, merging, a lot of mergers could be going on in the third week, okay? So this is good. Um, some of you um, could be working and merging with a Virgo or a Sagittarius, okay? If it's a Virgo, it's a yes. Um, if you're a Capricorn with a Sagittarius, uh, cops is a yes, okay? So if someone is going to be asking you to merge and work together with them or co-create with them, it is going to be a yes if it's a Virgo, or a Sagittarian um, cups is going to be a yes. Okay, so go, go, go for it. So, so um, it, it, it looks beautiful. It's one of the most beautiful uh, monthly readings you Capricorns have ever, ever, ever received. Um, 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 and this is showing up that this year, 2021, is you are going to be creating your 
balance. This year, 2021, is about no one else is making any decision for you. It's, it's about you making your own decision. The fourth week, what we have in the fourth week, we have uh, the page of cup. Now, the page is always message. And this message, um, it could be you advising someone. It could be, um, it, it's more as if, uh, um, this, uh, um, information is coming at you. Cause if you notice, uh, the energy is, can be that you're given this message. You're, you're giving out this love. Um, because it is a message of you saying, Hey, I appreciate. Thank you so much. And, you know, by doing that, you're going to be recognizing that it is a message that you have come to a place where you're saying to people, you know, thank you. Thank you. I really do appreciate your support to my business. I really do appreciate, uh, um, you know, that you gave a good world. I see references. I see people are going to be giving you very, very good references, whatever is happening and transpiring. People are definitely going to be giving you very good references. People are going to be connecting with you because they recognize that you are on um, on a, a streak of moving with pure art and is doing your work in a positive way. So I see, you know, people have been showing you that, hey, we do appreciate you. We do appreciate what you're doing. Um, your work is good. And you're going to be saying, you know, thank you. But there's a lot of people, and especially if you're working with kids, I see a lot of kids. So um, some of you could be making sure you're balancing out something for a lot of kids. And I see that uh, love is going to, you're going to be offering love to a group of people. Okay, so like people who work in group, a lot of people will be coming to you for help, some sort of a help. And especially, I told you, if you're working with anything to do with your voice, communicating, helping people, this is going to be very good. It's going to be bringing you a lot of money um, in this time period because people are going to be, you're going to be thanking people for really connecting and reaching out. So this is going to be good. So, you know, this is a powerful time in this four weeks period that is happening. It is good. It is positive. The only um, reverse is that, especially with people who are um, teachers or social worker and that sort of a thing, you're going to be creating some sort of a healing and balance for like kids at school, social worker, kids that is being um, treatedly, unkindly, unkindly. You're going to be there if you are a foster mother and that sort of a thing. I see that these kids, even if they don't say they appreciate what you're doing, appreciation is going to be shown and this is going to be good as we look in your cross and the center of this month i see you have a whole a whole lot of works to do but you are going to be successfully fulfilling um your target um at the in this uh, third week so it is a lot of work there's no question but you're going to be successfully um coming to your target finishing your target um Whatever you uh, was thrown at you, because a whole lot of work, a whole lot of duties is going to be thrown at you. But yet, still, you're going to be able to balance these uh, um, um, job, and and uh, um, and it is going to be you're going to be coming out of uh, this period very, very victorious. So, if you notice, success and victory is here for you, Capricorn. Some of you, Capricorns, uh, um, who have been dealing with a whole lot of uh, work a whole lot of it's like people just throw their work on you you're going to be successfully overcoming and this is also going to be giving you some sort of a victorious win um and it's because people were really using you a lot of people have been using you a lot of people have used you and climb on you to get to the top and and to get some sort of a promotion and um this you're going to be return. You're going to be receiving this situation where you're going to be recognizing that these people, even though they climb on you and and try to ruin your reputation and try to take your um, abundance from you, this is going to be different because what is going to transpire is that 
as you leave this four weeks period, um, air of water is where you're going to be dealing and uh, um, really um, showing that, you know, I'm capable of what I do. I'm capable of my job. I'm capable of uh, my business. I'm capable of how I do. Uh, I'm capable of this career. I am aware of what is expected to um, to be done in this career. So, wow, powerful. I got a girl. Share your loves by thumbs up. And I'm uh, moving forward. If you'd like to follow us to the next side, um, please do so um, by using the join button. If not, I will speak to you in the month, in the bi-monthlies. Namaste.